Hello friends, this video on getting to know plants part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's know a little more about stomata. So as mentioned before that these are very tiny pores which are present on the surface of leaves. Now these are the pores through which exchange of gases take place. Now if you look at a plant and try to focus on one particular leaf of the plant. I am pretty sure that even if you notice it very carefully, you will not be able to see stomata because they are very, very, very small. So these are visible only under microscopes. So under the microscope, this is how they look like. So you see, you can see this uh, pore and this pore is nothing but stomata. And through these pores, these pores are very, very important because if gaseous exchange cannot take place, if exchange of oxygen and carbon dioxide do not take place, in that case, the processes of photosynthesis will not be able to occur because for photosynthesis, we need carbon dioxide. Similarly, as a result of photosynthesis, oxygen gets released. So whatever is needed needs to come in. Whatever is not needed needs to go out. So this exchange happens through these stomata. So they regulate the exchange of gases that is like the primary function and also water vapor between external air and interior of the leaf. Now all excess water that is present within the leaf that is also thrown out through these stomata. So it actually uh, maintains the right amount of water within the leaf and it uh, regulates the exchange of gases. Now when we talk about uh, releasing out excess of water, so that process is known as transpiration. Now it is that process in which excess water inside the plants are released to the atmosphere. So it is the loss of water from leaves of plants by evaporation. Now what is evaporation? So we have talked about evaporation, it is that process in which liquid water is converted into its vapor form that is liquid water gets converted into water vapor now what happens is inside the plant inside any living organism for that matter it is very important that the right amount of water should be present it should neither be deficient nor should it be in excess so what happens is through these tiny pores called stomata all the water which is present within that water gets released out so the water gets converted into water vapor and that's how continuously some amount of water vapor is released from these plants and they are released into the atmosphere so this process is known as transpiration now there are several advantages associated with transpiration for example water is being pulled up from below due to transpiration pull. So there is a very interesting concept here. Now, when we water plants, where do we give the water? So we water plants in the sense that we give water to the soil. We give water to the base of the plant. So basically plant gets its water from the soil through the roots of the plant. So these roots, they absorb water. From the soil and then this water moves up through the stem and then it reaches out to the leaves and then again from the leaves by transpiration what happens now during a sunny morning due to the presence of sun sunlight heat what happens the water droplets get converted into its vapor form and that's how water gets released into the atmosphere now when water get released from here so the leaves tend to pull more water from the stems the stems tend to pull more water from the roots so the roots tend to pull more water from the soil so basically because of transpiration there is a pull continuously starting from leaves to the roots and due to this pull water is being taken up from the soil by the plant now that is also important otherwise you think of it in this way so water is present in the soil now this water in order to enter the plant it has to move from down to up now anything doesn't move against the gravity normally what happens when you throw a ball the ball falls down by default so everything tend to fall down nothing tend to come up but in this case the water is able to come up it is being pulled up due to this entire pull that is created by transpiration so transpiration is very very important if transpiration doesn't take place in that case water from the soil will also not be taken up by the plants 
cools the plant in hot weather. So in order to understand how transpiration cools the plant, think of the example of uh, the earth, earthen pot. So have you ever observed that the water stored in an earthen pot, a pot which is made up of mud. So if you store water in this pot, what happens? The water tends to remain cool. Why does the water remain cool? That's because if you look at this mud pot, it has tiny pores all over its body. So through these tiny pores, very small amount of water tends to keep coming out. And as a result of this, it keeps this entire body cool. So the same thing happens in case of plants. So in plants also, it has tiny pores throughout its leaves. So through those tiny pores, tiny water droplets tend to move out and as a result, an overall cooling of the plant happens. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.